Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. What is this, you may ask? Why does it have a huge dip in the mid-range? What motor is it? It's one of the few times we did some really crazy testing around here. And what that is, is a 4G64 Mitsubishi with an Evo 8 cylinder head, a long tube header, and no turbo. It had S2s, it was about 10 to 1 compression, and it's a long story why we did it, but you know, we put together an all-motor Evo just to kind of see what does a 4G64 make with no turbo. And this was no other funny business. It had a normal short ram intake pipe on it like you put on a Honda. And it did 132 horsepower and 133 foot-pounds of torque. We can see the intake manifold, the, the cam few things there are definitely not matched for a lack of boost. But in case you ever wanted to know what one of those makes, all motor, they aren't going to be beat in a Honda anytime soon. So today's video, we are going to talk about making custom tables in a Haltech, possibly why you might want to do it. It's very easy. So let's get to the tech. Once more, we are in the Haltech NSP software. This was on an Elite 2000 in a uh, GTST Skyline RB25 car, fairly stock, but we're just using it as an example, not necessarily for anything other than how to make a custom table. Now, if you look at this number right here, this is our injector flow, 370 cc, seems pretty basic. Stock injector, that's what it had. We're going to make it a 1,000 cc just so that it's a little easier to see. First thing you're going to do is press F3. A lot of legacy control stuff from the older ESP software. And that gives us the ability to add more axes to our injector flow table. In this case, we can add uh, a couple of different tables. We're going to enable injector pressure differential and that obviously requires a fuel pressure sensor but if your fuel pressure drops because your fuel pumps running out or your fuel, fil fuel filter gets clogged this is going to add additional fuel to try to take advantage of that and save the motor. Um, take advantage of the sensor that is. Now, first thing that we're going to want to do is we need to give it some values because obviously right here we just have a single value. We know we're going to be in pressure. We're going to be in pressure absolute. So click wizard. We're not necessarily going to worry about all of the crazy values, but let's start with, let's say, 20 PSI. Our base, by and large, is going to be 43.5, 3 bar. We can switch all of these values. You can make the math really easy on yourself if you want. Uh, end value, in this particular case, we could tune uh, higher than this, which is common in the Infinity. The Infinity, uh, to start with, shows fuel pressure values of, uh, I think, 83 is the high. So you can continue to scale the injector however you want. In the Infinity, it is important because once it goes off, that last value, that is the value. So you need to make sure you set it high enough that you have range. Uh, there are a lot of online calculators to help you figure out flow versus pressure for a given injector size. Uh, RC Engineering actually has a really easy to use uh, applet on under their technical section uh, to do that if you want to. We're not going to for the sake of this demonstration, but yeah, we'll give it a little. And then increment value you can choose 5, 10, 1, whatever you want until you run out. We have 16 possibilities. We're just going to do 5. And what it's going to do is it's going to set that table up for us. 20, 25, 30, 35, etc. Now we're going to add another one. Now by default, this is battery voltage. So you can see I clicked on it. That's all I did. We're going to put in flex
we're going to enable flex fuel. So I'm going to click on battery voltage, but we're going to end up changing this. The search is very easy. You just start typing stuff in. I didn't even finish. There's flex fuel sensor. Again, we're going to click on wizard. Even though most people don't run ethanol free, let's put in zero. Let's put in a hundred just in case you can get it. Again, most people are going to be somewhere between 50 and 85 usually. And we're going to do 10% increments. It's more than enough. And as you can see, it's populated. We click OK. Goodness gracious, look at that. We have a huge table. So injection pressure versus ethanol. Now, realistically, these numbers at 45, we'll say, is our base, should always be the same regardless as long as we have enough fuel system, i.e. enough injector for the horsepower, enough fuel pump for the, the BSFC. You might find that you have to cheat. Maybe these numbers, just to get the drivability a little bit better, maybe they're a thousand on gas, maybe they're going to be 900 up here. Obviously, one thing that you can do in most ECUs is you can come into this, hit F3, you can set an axis versus ethanol, and you can do a VE versus ethanol if you want. The Elite 1500 and 2500 offer that. The Elite 1000 and 2000 do not. So you have a few choices. If you want your VE table to stay fairly consistent, you can go into Corrections, you can set up the, the fuel composition and you can you can scale oh, that's cool you can do a, a fuel comp correction where you might add 45 percent over here because you need nothing down low maybe maybe even you're pulling away and then you're going to do something in between now, that can take a lot of time to set up. It's probably the preferred method, but if you wanted to do something a little bit different, you can do it this way. I don't necessarily think that it's a wrong answer situation. If your ECU doesn't have the capability, then you're going to have to come up with a solution one way or another. Now, as we talked about versus pressure, these numbers are going to be higher. Uh, every 10 PSI is 100 cc's, more or less. I kind of fudge the number there, hit H, we can interpolate. And conversely, if we're going to drop down, it, we're going to go 200 less. So we know that these numbers, control copy, these, these numbers down low are going to be uh, a little bit less. So We might do, let's see here, something like this, and set up our injector scaling versus the pressure differential. Now, these numbers are only there as placeholders. Obviously, we need to do some math. We need to figure out how much pressure drop we feel is allowable, and realistically, I don't like seeing more than 5 to 10 PSI. Uh, the Haltech does give us the ability that once all the fuel pressure sensors turned on and all this is working in the background, if that differential pressure right here, which should be 45 as your base pressure, if it drops to 35, it's going to throw a check engine light, turn the boost control solenoid off, do something to keep you from hurting the motor. Now, that's the preferred way. Um, you have the sensor, you have the capability, you should be using it. This video isn't about that. This video is just about making custom maps. So let's switch to another example of making a custom map, keeping in mind that F3 is the magic button. So let's go to uh, timing. We'll do a timing table correction next. Set that up custom for our needs.